Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking all things Vlada MUA Time Smashbox. I was recently sent the collection, and honestly, you guys, one of the most stunning and well thought out and just thoroughly done collections that I've gotten in PR in a while, and I'm completely obsessed with it. But basically, I got this entire look using Vlada Time Smashbox collaboration. If you want to see how to get this look and want to hear my thoughts on the collaboration, just keep watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get straight into my review of the collection. Alright guys, so I wanted to zoom you guys in so you can see this nice and up close, so here's the palette. Super cute packaging, and then on the inside here are the colors. So as you can tell, they are very, very neutral. This uh, color right here and this color right here are the only matte shades, and that's it. Everything else is shimmery, so that's what I'm be working with today. So I'm going to dip into that first tan matte shade. And this is a MAC 224 brush. And for primer today, I used my Tarte Shape Tape and just set with a bit of powder. No, it actually goes on pretty pink. It definitely doesn't look as pink in the pan, but I don't mind the color that it's coming off on the eyes. It's actually really nice and actually pretty unexpected, but I don't mind it at all. Now, the mirror on the palette, I personally, when I look into it, can feel a little bit dizzy because one of those zoom mirrors, so if you don't have it perfectly close enough to your face, it can look a little kind of distorted and weird. So I will say the mirror is kind of a struggle bus for me personally. I do love the palette though, especially for traveling. If you're someone who likes these kind of tones and likes very simple kind of rosy looks, I would definitely say go for it. I'm just going to personally build up that same color I've been using. Okay, so I actually really enjoyed how that color built up. I think it looks really nice, and it adds a nice pinky brown haze, but without looking ashy. I feel like a lot of times these dusty rose shades on more of a tan skin tone or any skin tone that isn't super fair can look very ashy or gray, or it picks up kind of weird in certain areas. So I actually really like it. I think that the color is perfect for this palette and the tones. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually taking a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape on the back of my hand and onto a shadow brush. And I know a lot of people see Instagram and these tutorials and get intimidated, but at the end of the day, like. All of these techniques that you see, you can tone down to fit into your personal life. So instead of actually doing a super defined cut crease, all I'm doing is I'm taking the concealer and kind of brightening up my lid to make it pop a little bit more and stand out. So when I put a shimmer on top, it just has a little bit more to it. So we're not cutting our crease or doing anything like that, but even doing that really helps to open up someone who might have more of a deep set or hooded eye. So I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. So with that same brush, I'm actually going to be taking this rosy shade right here. And I'm just going to apply this all over the lid. And keep in mind also that that Tarte Shape Tape, I used a very thin amount. With any product like that, like anything creamy or eye bases, you don't always have to like cake on the product. Sometimes less is more, especially if you have more of an oily eyelid. I used to put on so much product and I feel like putting on so much product actually made the product break down faster. And also when you think about it, when your makeup starts to break down, the more you have on, the more there is to move around. So I think in places where you have issues with things caking or being heavy or creasing, less is always more. So that's just something that I've personally learned because I used to put on so much and putting on less really does make a difference. Alright guys, so off camera I put on some of my Teddy Eye Cool from MAC. Now I'm going to dip back into my palette and I'm going to take a little bit of this darker shade, the matte dark shade and the light shade just to mix. And if you feel like there's no in-between shade, you can always mix these two together. And I'm just going to kind of smoke out this lower lash line. And if I feel like it gets too smoky, I can always just clean it up. But I prefer a smoky lower lash. Personally, especially with a look like this, I feel like it really complements the softness to the top lash line to do this smokier lash line. But if you feel like it's too much for you, you can dip back into lighter shade. 
and just kind of soften it. Of how this looks, I'm gonna add a little bit of the liner today, and I'm personally gonna take this darker color. Now, I'll show you the colors. So the first one is a black that has like pink, green, a bunch of different micro glitters in it. So it's obviously not gonna have a matte finish. So if you're someone who prefers a matte finish, you will not like this. And the second one is a metallic kind of bronzy rose gold, but it's like a greenish gold in the rose gold, if that makes any sense at all. So those are the two colors. Probably not gonna show up on camera true to color because that's just technology, so yeah. Okay, so I found it. I'm using my Anastasia. I believe this is the A23. I've had this forever. And I'm dipping into this super greenish, pinkish highlight. It's on the lips on the outside. I know you guys know I love a pink highlight if you've been following me for a while. Um, this one does have a lot of kind of glitter. And you can tell that's a little bit more on the chunky side. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to tap off a little bit of the excess. And just... Ooh. Okay, so if you have texture and you're worried about emphasizing it, I would definitely say try this on first before buying. Just because for me, I feel like it's definitely showing texture on me a lot. Well, not a lot, but it actually looks really nice. It's just, I think it's glittery and that's what I'm seeing. Okay, so no. No, I lied, I lied, I lied, we're being dramatic, so from far away it looks really good, it's just that I'm seeing the glitter particles. So if you don't like glitter, you won't like this, but if you don't mind glitter, you'll like this. I actually like this a lot. The appearance it gives on the skin actually reminds me of those Natasha Denona, that diamond palette, but the powder, the one that's actually like a diamond powder. It's just that same kind of finish where it's so high shine that it just looks wet. But from different angles, it just looks so different. I really do love this. I like to add some above the eyebrow. Again, personal preference. A lot on the cupid though, of course. So this is the other color I'm not using. It's more of a rose gold. I just feel like this will leave me more of that bronzy streak that I don't want. I'm gonna dip into the really light shade and just pop it on the highest points just to add a little bit more something. Just right on top, not too much. I mean, are we past too much already? I don't even know at this point. If you guys want to see a separate video all about Smashbox lips and you want to see swatches on what I have and what I like, please let me know on thumbs up this video and I'll definitely do that, but it, only if you guys want to see it, so please let me know. Um, and then there's three of the metallic liquid lips. I'm just going to put one on today just because I feel like I'm probably going to end up doing a separate swatch video. And this is the shade in Bloom. And this is more of a pinky, rosy metallic. Overall, I am completely obsessed with its collection. I really don't have a better word than obsessed. The only thing that I would personally skip on is the spray. Um, if you love Smashbox primers, I would definitely check out this primer, but if you're not someone who likes primers, I would skip it. But outside of that, everything is so beautiful. The packaging, the everything is just so well done. And I'm really obsessed with it. And thank you so much to Smashbox for sending this to me. I am forever grateful. Congrats to Vlada MUA for this amazing, amazing collaboration. It is a huge, huge collaboration. I am personally a big fan of her for a very long time. And her lip swatches are seriously goals. Like, the most insane, artistic, just creative lip 
person out there. So congrats to Vlada and Smashbox for such a beautiful collab. Thank you to everyone for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. Obviously, that's a given. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, I will see you then.